This is the SF Productions Podcast Network. Good evening and welcome to another exciting episode of Vast Wasteland. Bubble gum, 10 cent candy bars, 15 cent hamburgers. Hamburgers. When a dollar went a long way, and so did 24 hours. The 60s and the 70s, dwelling place of the lost generation. We who grew up in this era had no real heroes. Our role models came from the imaginations of others. Our meager lives were formed by and revolved around weekly installments of our favorite TV programs. Welcome to a place that your parents didn't understand. A place that exists somewhere between the forefront of recollectable memory and the edge of everyday thought. Welcome to the vast wasteland. Welcome home. Good evening, and welcome to another exciting episode of Vast Wasteland. I'm your host, Mark Schmidbar, along with Wilbur Neal and Marty Wiley. We're here to talk about 60s and 70s television. And uh, in the last uh, few months, we've seen something on today's television that certainly reminds us of those classic days of 70s television. It's that new Brady series we've all been very excited about. Yes, uh, and it, and uh, by the time you see this, actually, w uh, as we tape this, uh, the show has already been canceled. It was only on five shows, and uh, since it's been on and uh, it died, we want to discuss things like, why didn't it work? And uh, not only the Bradys, another show that was brought back, and it seems to be working, is Leave it to Beaver. So this week it's the Bradys versus the Cleavers, and I'll turn the proceedings over to Wilbert for this first question of the evening. Well, by golly, you know the Bradys. They actually started in the 50s. Um, and um, then by the, the time the, the, the cleavers, the cleavers. Yeah. Ah, cleavers. <laughs> start again, that, too long. That you know the cleavers, episode. they actually started back in the 50s. And by the time we, um, <clears throat> well, I can say by the time I actually saw them, well, let's see, right here, they first aired on October 4th, 1957. The last show aired September 12th, 1963. So it counts. It counts. It does count, yes, by golly. So don't write in. And so they, would have they've anyway. just been syndicated. <laughs> syndicated forever since then, so they're still actually being shown. We're still actually seeing old shows now. And then here within the last, what would you say, last year, the um, year before last? Oh, no, it's about three years since they started the um, the revival, the new Leave it to Beaver. Well, yeah. didn't they start with like a movie or two first? I think, I think there was. There was a movie that I remember where Beaver came back home divorced with his kids, with little Kip and little Oliver. Mm -hmm. And I can't remember exactly if Wally was living next door to Mom then or not. I don't think he was married yet. Some sort of deal. Oh. I'm not sure, but I think that kind of, since it was successful, it kicked on and gave uh, Mr. Turner in Atlanta a great idea. <laughs> oh, Why let's not? bring it back. Let's go for it. Ted Turner, the keeper of old shows, says, hey, <laughs> let's renew this one. Come on, everybody's still around. Most, most of the people are still around. Let's do a new show. They all still know each other. It, it, it could work. Well, what's so nice about the new one is June has a life now. Wait. <laughs> right. Mm -hmm. Basically, Ward kicked off. June went to college. What else she do? And City council. Right. Mayor. Right. President next, probably. <laughs> President grandma. <laughs> she 
sure she wasn't a wasn't a real estate agent at some point. No, I don't. <laughs> maybe. I thought, I thought that was a standard occupation for widowed uh, housewives. Automatically. I don't uh, know. If Carol's doing it. She's not a widow yeah, yet on the Brady. That's true. Right. But it seems like as soon as the kids move out, that's like they all go to real estate college and come back out and starts. Uh, I'm not sure if she was into real estate or not. I just remember the city council. Do one of the following. Gun repair. Gun <laughs> repair. <laughs> <laughs> she one of those ads, yeah. yeah no, she did the real estate or whatever. Yeah. So then she went on into politics, and now she's the mayor of the whole darn place. Which is swell. That's interesting, too. Carol now has a career. Right. Now that the kids are out of the house. She, like she did anything anyway. Yeah. Like she did anything besides right. sit and solve problems. Right. <laughs> and Alice did all the real work around, so... Uh, Carol Matriarch. Yeah. <laughs> just like, we no. shall solve your problems, oh, <laughs> young children of ours. She, she, she wasn't a brownie leader. I mean, she. what did she do? What did she do with all her time? <laughs> Executive wife? I mean, that was about professional it. Wife. Professional wife. Professional wife. I mean, really, just, I... Just keeping the logistics of the whole thing, I think, pretty well, she, much was... Uh, she did kind of help in the kitchen. Right. She right. helped the hired help. Mm -hmm. She was a homemaker. That doesn't mean she was a home doer. Yeah. <laughs> she made she it home. supervised. Else actually did the home. Oh, she would supervise. Fine. Give everybody their chores <laughs> and watch them mess up. Right. <laughs> exactly. And then Alice would have to come in and straighten it up. <laughs> and they don't have the dog anymore either. It's well, I, well, in the well, pretty well assuming. pretty much yeah. dead, I imagine. <laughs> pretty darn good chance. He couldn't come back. Neither could Sam. They both died. They had right. a good excuse. <laughs> yeah, we're, 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 We've noticed in the new in the new series, of course, now you can't find this out because it's now lost to oblivion. But, we're uh, we're talking about the Brady series. The, the, yeah, the new Brady series is that uh, the actor that played Sam the Butcher, which I can't remember his name offhand, no, uh, died. Probably... The actor who played that. So, you know, we figured, well, Alice will be a widow. No, 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 no. Uh, Sam's still around, but he's never on camera. She just talks to him on the phone. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it, yes, Sam. I'll, I'll be home in a little while. I'm over at the Brady's, you know. It's, it's like that one Twilight Zone episode where they kept talking to somebody <laughs> on the phone, and you, you go and find out where the phone line goes, and it goes straight into the grave there. But anyway. <laughs> <laughs> that type of thing, yeah. And it's funny. Alice is still calling her Mrs. Brady. Mrs. Bra Mr. Brady. After all these years, couldn't you call, him, couldn't call her Carol? Come on. Yeah, it's like... You've known her for years, for goodness sakes. Like Carol, Carol, not, Mike. <laughs> huh? Maybe she doesn't like those names, Carol and Mike. <laughs> <laughs> so she's got servant died, so I've been a servant all my life. Yes, my lord. Yes, yeah. my lord. <laughs> Did you notice how readily she became? She wanted to be the babysitter for the, the grandkids. <laughs> <laughs> So just a gleam went into her eye. Maybe they actually, maybe they actually own Alice or something. <laughs> they got some dirt on her, you know. Some in, they got some dirt, servitude, yeah. Uh, Alice, Alice, Al they caught Alice uh, trying to cat burglarize their house. Right. Right? <laughs> right. They're going after the Brady jewels. Or right. Something. They got incriminating <laughs> evidence. She has to stay or go to jail. Right. So uh, work for us for the rest of your life, or we'll send you to jail. Yeah. <laughs> Even when you don't worry for us, just come over. Yeah, all the time. For no always, particular reason. Always call us Mr. and Mrs. <laughs> right. <laughs> we are not your friends. We are your employer. <laughs> you will so, never address us as by our, our names. <laughs> but the, the thing is, what you know, you look at the, the, the Leave the it Beaver. to Beaver, and you look at the new Brady show, and it's like, one show worked, and the other show didn't. And what's the difference? Why did one show work, and the other show didn't? Well, I think it was that um, Leave It to Beaver. I, I can't really, I can't really speak a lot for either show because I was never really an avid watcher of either one. But from the the aura, the mystique that each show gives, we can look and say that the um, Leave It to Beaver show um, dealt with Leave it real, Beaver. more realistic things. Well, uh, I'll be at a comedy, I right. mean, you know, and so much for comedy, and then it's in Hollywood or wherever. It's, it's a show, well, so you can't deal with every problem, and they weren't really necessarily problems. Right. They it's were more like a warmity. <coughs> situations. Yes, they were <laughs> situations. No. They're childish situations, right. too, because it was basically the kids that did every did the That's the key to the new show. Things. The new show, you still see Beaver, Wally, Lumpy, Eddie, but... The new show kind of centers on the, n the next generation. Yeah. <laughs> because a lot of the new show revolves around Kip and Oliver, the little girl whose name I can never remember. Now, the new Stinky. baby who, right. who, who grew up like six months to three years. Like, right. Well, that's a real that's TV a, kid. <laughs> law of situation Stinky, yeah. comedies. It's like, hey, it's like we can do about four or five ep episodes about the other kids being 
being uh, jealous of the new kid, and then it's like, hey, he's dead weight until he can talk. <laughs> <laughs> we got to get him to the point he can talk, and then we can slow down his aging a little bit. But it's like, all it's, it still centers on the kid. Right. And the kids still go like they did in the old show. They always went, it always wound up to, to ward the wise. <laughs> <laughs> well, Beaver, Wally, you screwed up again. <laughs> right. It always comes down to the kids have to go to one of the adults, usually whichever one is their parent, mm -hmm. or to wise old grandmother Cleaver. Right. And find a solution. Yeah, and like, and like the new show, though, it's uh, uh, the, 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 Beaver, the, the Brady show. Uh, you have new people, you have new cast members, but you never see a scene with just them. And they're not, and they're not at all the center of attraction, the new characters in, in the Brady series. It's kind of like, yeah, they're there, and they're in the background, and most of them are spouses or, or grandkids or something, but it's really the, the show is not about them, and there's never a scene with just them. It's always got to be, there's got to be at least one Brady in there. One original Brady. One original well, Brady. Well, they don't have the original <coughs> Marsha. I think that's hurt them. Yeah, but they, well, they, they've, they've, they've tried that again. They've never had any yeah, they've never been able cast. to get the whole cast together. I mean, for years we had, we had Susan Olsen, the renegade Brady, who refused to come back and play Cindy. And now finally she's doing it. And um, and now uh, Marie, Marie McCormick, McCormick is saying, no, no, I'm, now I'm not going to do it. So. And then when they had, well, let's look here, they had the Brady Bunch Hour. They had a different Jan. That was the big that. variety hour. That's true, the Brady Bunch yes. variety hour. <laughs> it's like a law of the universe. If you have more than three or four children, they become a singing group. Right. <laughs> and they don't know why. Here, here earlier in the 80s, there were the Brady Brides, where you had both Marsha and Jan there, but no Cindy at all. No, we won't have a Cindy. That's, Cindy I guess that was one of the things where she no didn't, men. didn't want to come back. That's true. They have some men listed here, but none of the guys. No, dad wasn't there. Well, that's true. None the, of the brothers were the brothers, there. Well, well, it's the Brady Brides. They didn't yeah. say. Well, it was like some wedding, huh? <laughs> <laughs> they didn't well, say the Brady you know. group wedding. It's <laughs> the Brady Brides. That's what they should have done. They should have had the Brady group wedding. Every one of them find a spouse. <laughs> Preferably all the boys marry somebody else, some, a group of sisters. All the girls could have married a group of brothers. Yeah. It could have really gone on from there. Would have become the King family. Yeah. <laughs> the well, Brady family. There's a lot of inbreeding going on after a while. They set up their own community on the yeah, outskirts really. of Los Angeles. <laughs> Salt Lake City or something. Yeah. Time. Yeah. <laughs> That's uh, scary. Well, I mean, there, there were so many things, uh, if you watch the new Brady series, it just didn't make any... It was corny. Of things that just, it's like, this was a big mistake. Like, the first episode, when they, when they started talking about this publicity-wise, they said that, uh, well, we're going to go, it's going to be 60% drama and 40% comedy. Big mistake right and, there. Well, so they <laughs> did that for, like, one episode, and they, and they got rid of the, uh, of the voice, of the um, laugh, track. laugh track, and, and they tried it for one episode. And it obviously didn't go over well. So, like, during the next week, some frenzied editor dropped a laugh track into the second episode. Look, look, we've got to have the laugh track. It's just not working. <laughs> Phil, help funny. me here. Come on, throw me a bone. Laugh track. We've yes, got to we have, have one track. here. It's a very important. We need laugh track. This was one of the staple comedies. Uh, we're looking at the 70s. We've got to have laugh track. You want a laugh track, track over? Cannot have laugh track without can't have a comedy without laugh track. Is this a, is this a new character, the TV executive? <laughs> guy? Yeah, Mr. The man who makes the decision. <laughs> yeah. Mr. TV executive guy. It was but, corny, uh, though. So, and so the like, new one was the, so corny. Right, by the time they got to the third episode, they had said, yeah, that's it, this, dra this whole drama bit is not working. So we're going straight back into the comedy, you know, this wacky situations. And, now, was and, it the, the first episode or the second episode where, um, um, who was it, Bobby had the big accident? First episode. First Bobby episode. had the yeah. big accident. Okay. Got see, started out with drama. Well, at least they, they got that out of the way. Before right. They well, put see, the laugh track back so in. Otherwise, for, for those who haven't happened. watched it, and uh, that probably would be most of you because it's gone, uh, you got to understand, Bobby, in the first episode, is a was a race car driver yeah, yeah. and he got in an accident and now he's in a wheelchair and he's married to martha quinn yeah we're not sure why <laughs> but and uh we don't know if that happened before or after the accident right and, <laughs> and, right <laughs> no it did happen after, after the accident does it really yeah according because according, she because he got married that the same episode no well it was like <laughs> all right out there recuperation he, he wins the one big race there's girls all over one him he's all happy he gets the loving cup <laughs> he drops the little the lucky the lucky horseshoe thing it breaks oh that was my good luck charm so right. what yeah <laughs> he gets out there runs around the track again boom <laughs> <laughs>
And then he marries Martha Quinn. And his good luck's just down the tubes, down no luck for him anymore. And his hair turned blonde. Yeah. Well, he was starting to do that as he got older on the series. Okay. And then he's the, all blonde now. Well, yeah, he's totally blonde now. But but his hair was always lighter than the other it's boys. Like Greg anyway. loses his hair. Yes, isn't that scary? Peter's Greg, the only one that kept Greg his Greg is hair. Robert Reed's clone. Yeah. Peter I, Peter's going through the uh, the uh, the 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 Chekhov. Um, Dick Grayson thing. He just becomes a bigger version of himself. His head gets bigger. His hair stays the same. Yeah, but he still looks like. He but he still looks the like. On yes. the show, yeah, he just grew up. Hmm, it's scary. <laughs> it's true. Got, so, so you got, so you got, um, so you got Bobby, and then you've got Jan. Jan's the alcoholic now. No, yeah, Marsha was the alcoholic. Mar Marsha's the alcoholic. Jan still pretty much looks like Jan. Yeah, yeah right. Jan is Marcia, Jan. Jan became an architect. <laughs> that's right. Yeah. Marsha, uh, in I think it was like the fourth episode, uh, was starting to have problems because she didn't feel like uh, she was doing anything useful. And so, bam, she's an alcoholic. She's turning into her mother. Yeah, <laughs> instant alcoholic. And she said, oh, I'm going to go for some, uh, some training or treatment. Uh, some treatment. And that's Boom! Like, yeah. <laughs> it was like, in the last 10 minutes of the show, they said, I'm going to go for treatment. The next show, there's no reference to it. So we figure hell either months treatment. have gone by or the hell of a treatment. Yeah. One of the two. Shock therapy or something. We don't know. <laughs> you want that alcohol? <laughs> <laughs> no more alcohol for pizza. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not sure. <laughs> <laughs> I got yeah. things to do. That'll be a thousand dollars. Thank you very much. That's right. I can't drink. <laughs> I'm a Brady dude. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> <laughs> so, so by by the fifth episode, it's just gotten completely. Well, uh, you completely know, I think absurd. they tried to kind of wasn't the first and the second when they were continuations. Right. Uh, okay, the Brady's tradition is you have a problem and you solve it in a half an hour. Right. Right. The Beaver, the Beaver Cleavers, that group, they're still solving their problems in a half an hour. Right. That's they, true. They they get it done. <laughs> mm hmm. And the Brady's trying to drag it out, like, oh, we've got problems now, we're grown. Yeah. yeah. Well, that, that's Mr. Executive again. We've yeah. got, um, <laughs> we got, we've got a phenomenon. <laughs> we've got the Brady's, the, what are the Brady's were on from uh, 69 to 74. Well, we're talking about five years here, five, five big years here. And not once was there a continuation. Right? That's so there right. There was a couple. But. Well, maybe, but, <laughs> but, you know, but um, we got a half hour show here, five, five years, and we've got several incarnations, we've got... Well, we got the Brady Brides here from 81, well, February 81 to August, April of 81. That's not a long time. Right. But we've got a, well, heck, this Brady Bunch Hour from January, January of 77 to May of 80, <laughs> 77. That didn't last long. It was the, you know, it was a cartoon, actually. Yeah, the too. Brady Kids, this animated cartoon spinoff from the Brady Bunch. No. And, uh, in, and, and I think this was the only... This was the only uh, spinoff that actually included the, all the kids, no, all voices. the real kids, okay. all the, uh, just voices, but uh, except for, for some reason, uh, the, uh, the parents have disappeared. No, those are the kids. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Brady kids. Brady well, kids bury uh, their parents have they, a life. What was the length on that one there from September uh, 72 to August of 74? 74. We've got a whole two years there. Yeah, that was hey. a big show there. Uh, two years, four big seasons there. Yeah. And for some reason, panda bears are involved, according well, to this. We're not sure why. It's, it's a cartoon. Yeah. We've, got it, we've, got it, we've got it. We've got to have a cartoon. We've got to have it. silly animals. Silly animals. And animals. Why do they just use the frog? Mm. You know, they have no... I don't think... They don't have any animals. The cleavers never had any animals. Well, that's the cleavers... I mean, you got a kid named Beaver. What do you need? <laughs> <laughs> that looks like an animal. Yeah. So you got, you got, you got. That's funny because they all still look like themselves too. You got uh, Eddie Haskell. He's Eddie pretty much a like weasel anyway. He what do you need animals like for? <laughs> <laughs> you need no animals. You got Lumpy. <laughs> he still looks the same. Here's another animal. We don't need animals on this show. We've got kids, <laughs> right? <laughs> but yeah, that's, that's too bad though. The Bradys, they they lost their dog. They've lost their show. <laughs> right. But they still got Alice. Well, they, yeah. They'll always be and, Alice. And, and, hey, Mom was sporting the pool hairdo, so I thought. Yeah, she and Alice must be seeing the same hairdresser now. I think so, I think so. Ooh. And Alice, <laughs> Alice just had Maybe a touch of gray. Maybe they're doing each other hair. Right. Mom's hair was all white, wasn't it? Right. <laughs> it's like these kids. These kids. <laughs> oh, white hair. Right here. Uh-oh. So, you know, the, right here. The, the, I think one reason that the Bradys didn't work and the uh, Cleavers work the Cleavers was always a better show anyway. Okay, well, 
Um, let's see. We're looking at... Okay, look, you've got the Brady Bunch. You've got six kids in one house. They never fight. Rarely oh, do no. they fight. Now, wait a I minute. mean, do oh, you they see the so they no, fight. No, do you see... Do you see Fight? No, no physical well, we fighting. Had, they had verbal and mental fighting. <laughs> yeah. I don't like you. you. <laughs> Your staff of the family is no good. Yeah. And they're going, oh, oh no. Oh, you darn boys, you, oh. You boys, stay you, out of our rooms forever. Forever. There's <laughs> <laughs> a lot of psychological torture get going on My here. clothes get out. <laughs> <laughs> Never saw that happen. No, I, mean, I mean, except for this last, this last episode, that will hopefully be the last episode. You, they never had a fight like that before. Well, that's true. It was never. It was always boys against girls. It was never. Yeah. One Bro set. Brothers boys, against brother. Yeah. Ooh. 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 <laughs> I mean, the girls might have had their spats. You know, were the girls? Did the girls ever try to go out with the same guy? Did that ever happen? Uh, no. No. Okay. You'd think um, that would have happened, and yet. You think did they ever try out both of them? Try out for cheerleader and oh, I'm sure that. Oh, well, that, well, well, of course that we had the middle child show where Jan. Being the middle child, all of a sudden had her middle child crisis. <gasps> Marsha's better because she's older, and Cindy's better because she's a baby, and I'm just Jan. And Jan went out and bought the black wig and wore the share hair for an episode. Oh, <laughs> oh yes. Now we remember. Okay. I mean, you haven't seen these reruns enough. <laughs> yeah. I, I, I guess I'll have to say I studiously avoid her. <laughs> it's all oh, Brady. <laughs> Next. <laughs> <laughs> I'll watch no, we're alternate Brady. I'll still watch <coughs> the old Leave It to Beaver, and I'll watch the new Leave It to Beaver, because even though they're a little bit corny, they're more. It's that nuclear family thing. It's all perfect. It's kind of unreal in that sense. Right. But. Yet it was more realistic. I think yes. it's that. I think it was the corniness that that kept it going. I think it was the corniness that kept the original Brady series going. I don't know. That it it was, kind of it was, it was, it was schmaltzy, but it schmaltzy, was corny. Mm -hmm. uh, schmaltzy, Oh, they had, they corny. had wonderful things happen, like Davy Jones came to their house after his career was over, but right. Right. <laughs> it's like, oh yes, I'm the president of the Davy Jones fan club. He will come and do our prom. Yeah, he sure had one he will. Song. <laughs> sure he will. But he did. But he it, did, yes, you know, like... And those shows never, they, I've, I've never, I've yet to see a, a comedy show like that where um, they promise where somebody's going to come to their show and they don't show up. I've never seen that happen. They always somehow work it out where that person gets Well, there. you see, you see it, <coughs> uh, you've seen it a couple times in the 80s, but now, you know, it's like, uh, now this all this social relevance has to be in every sitcom. You know, well, a yeah. very special episode of My Two Dads. <laughs> <laughs> A break. <laughs> I think that's. I think that's kind of one of the things that killed the Bradys too. Their shows were fun, but they never really had to be relevant. But now they need the relevance, and I think the relevance killed. Well, them. they yeah. think they need the relevance. Yeah, the, yeah. It was Mr. Right. Executive. Yeah, they, yeah. Mr. Executive. The relevance. relevance. Um, We've we got to make it just like the relevance, world. Relevance, but a laugh track. Right. Where, where the the new Cleaver <laughs> show is still in the same little hometown. The problems are little the same hometown little problems. hometown problems. Right. <clears throat> I mean, you know. I think the worst thing that's ever happened was um, Kip, the oldest son, got mono once. <laughs> mm. <Ooh. laughs> yeah, but uh, well, that, but the, hey, he bounced back. The thing about the hometown, that's that's another thing that they, it's in, in the new Brady show, was the fact that there's like no attention to continuity at all. In that the first episode, they established that the kids have moved all over the country. Yeah. And then, like by the third episode. They all seem to live in the same town. L.A. Yeah, it's like, wow. <laughs> How did that happen? Uh, I, I'm, I'm confused, you know, because, well, I mean. Mom's a real estate agent. Well, I mean, the obvious <laughs> thing is, is that the, is that, uh, the producer said, you know, this is going to be really tough to, to dream up a reason to have them drive, you know, or fly from all over the country. <laughs> every episode. <laughs> every episode. So, well, that was probably a dumb idea to have them all over the country. Let's just forget we did that. And, uh. <laughs> and we'll just blow that off. You know, they probably would have done better if they had left the kids all over the country and, and, and zoomed in on story. one family a week and said, oh, let's see what Greg's doing this week. Well, because what, you could always keep in touch with long distance. Well, you know? in, well in, in the <laughs> coveted Brady Christmas yeah. movie, they <laughs> did that a lot. Only near the end did they all come to the same place because they were doing all this stuff. Oh, I, you know, they wanted to get all the kids together Too for Christmas. People. And they went, oh, Dad, I can't go. I got this and that and the other. And, and, but there was actually some information as to what was happening in their lives there. 
which they've just kind of, nah, 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 everything has to take place, you know. I think there's just too many at people. At or near the Brady house. There's just too many people in the Brady show. Well, it's like were, you got to get a scorecard. I'm sitting there going like, yeah, it who is, is he true. married to? Which that one? Is <laughs> that is true. <laughs> and and who, who married to her? And, and I thought it was funny that little Cindy, who painfully lisped through every Brady show, was a disc Did jockey. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. This doesn't make any sense to me. <laughs> well, she's corrected that she's, list she's now. Corrected she's corrected her list. Yes, now. she's corrected she's it. Confirmed. Face your fear and it'll disappear. And she yeah. went further than facing it. By God, and she's not living all of it. That's right. Well, it just seems strange, you know? <laughs> yep, you're right. Ed. And what's strange. Greg, a doctor? Yeah. I could not figure out ever what Peter was doing. Besides well, running around and trying to find twins. <laughs> He's just a swinging kind of guy. Hey, I'm going out with uh, twins. Hey, yeah. yeah. Uh, it's twins. <laughs> a lifelong yeah, twins. Yeah, real sleazy. Isn't it funny how all the kids are like upstanding young adults and, Except and for Peter's Bobby. like a sleaze? Well, he Pe can't Peter, stand. Peter, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah <sorry. laughs> Up sitting. He sits up straight. Yeah. No, he was, he was walking with crutches. Here. That's true. Yeah, he was. Okay. At, the, at the terrible at the party. dinner party. Yeah, yeah. But, uh... Well, we, we, we were talking earlier. We were talking about... Uh, uh, about Martha Quinn, what the deal was with her, and I had heard the theory that uh, that the, the reason they got Martha Quinn because they needed somebody short enough, so it wouldn't be awkward with Bobby in the wheelchair. So, so they, uh, we need a really short Martha actress, Martha Quinn. There we Martha go. Quinn, she well, need they, uh, MTV they, she, right now. Right. Nobody ever right. heard of her. But have they, they did. They did want somebody a certain height. They were looking for. Um, oh, like there's nobody else that small in the world. Actresses, five feet tall, you know, and she went out for the for the casting call, and she just. I mean, there were a bunch of other people there, but she was the one who ended up getting it. There were uh -huh. people like Phoebe like, Cage, you know. Yeah. Uh, oh, Phoebe <laughs> Cage, give me a break. <laughs> well, but, you know. Hire her mm. for a dog food commercial. <laughs> There's people that might fit the mold, and so they, I don't like Martha Quinn Cage. got it. <laughs> no, no, I just, I think the main problem with the Brady show, is there's two, they try to get everybody in every episode. Right. Now, you don't see everybody on the Leave it to Beaver show. You're mainly dealing with the, the second, the kids. Right. You've got little Freddie Haskell, who's almost as slimy as Eddie. Then there's Boomer, who shows up every once in a while from Military Academy, who's Eddie's other son. Mm. Um, you've got, you know, uh, Oliver, Kip, the little girl and her little brother. Uh, Wally's kids, the little girl and little brother, then Beaver's kids, the two <coughs> boys. And that's really all you're dealing with, them and the parents when needed. Right. And not where with the Brady's, it was like keep a scorecard because, oh, now let's see how many we can fit into one scene. There's and, Jen, uh, there's yes. Cindy, there's... Of course, yeah. I never did see Cindy in any family scenes, really. She right. was always at the radio station <laughs> yeah. flirting with the station manager. W. What was it? K-B... <laughs> K-B-L-A. K-B-L-A. <laughs> K-B-L-A. <laughs> K <Blah> radio. <laughs> Broadcasting from Los Angeles. K-B-L-A. <laughs> <laughs> on your well, FM you say what that is. K Brady L A. No, oh, oh okay. smart. Okay. Somebody, oh, my <laughs> golly, I guess um, all this laughter and merriment, we're about running out of time. Yeah, we are. It's incredible. <laughs> well, next episode of uh, Vast Wasteland, we're going to be talking about all the uh, live action superhero shows. So you want to stay, uh, just tune in for that whenever we're on the next time, and we're just not sure when. For all of us here at Vast Wasteland, we'll uh, see you later. Yeah. <laughs>